and welcome to another episode of In My Room, the series where I talk about the hidden aspects of teen bedroom culture. One of the key characteristics of the bedroom is privacy. Privacy is what makes the teenage bedroom so appealing. You can get away from it all by just closing your door. The privacy of the bedroom allows you a space to get away from it all and really confront your emotions and deal with things on your terms. Say you get in an argument with your parents, classic, you run upstairs and slam the door to your room. This added privacy serves really well for the teenager because they do need a lot of extra alone time. Your alone time becomes a lot more important as you get older and as you start dealing with more difficult things. You need a space to get away from it all, to reset, to ground yourself, and to allow yourself some room to breathe. Our alone time proves to be quite valuable, but also can be kind of detrimental and a little bit dark at times. It's hard to define the difference between loneliness and being alone. Am I alone because I require space and because I enjoy my alone time? Or am I alone because I'm feeling isolated and I'm feeling like no one understands me or like I don't know who to reach out to? Everyone needs to spend time alone sometimes. It's really important to just have that time to yourself and have your own space to do that in. But on the other hand, being alone doesn't always mean that you feel good or you feel positively about that alone time. But it's really a balancing act because what happens when you isolate yourself too much? What happens when your room becomes an escape for dealing with your real life problems? Are we ever really alone? It's so easy for the outside world to infiltrate the bedroom because we have so many devices that connect us to other people. It's really easy to get sucked into that. I know for me that sometimes it can feel even more isolating to be on my phone or using the internet when I'm not feeling super great. Sometimes it can actually make you feel worse. We really need that space to cry, to write things down, to lay in bed, to watch a movie, to just curl up and let the day sort of go away or let the problems of that day just dissolve. But are those problems ever really gone? Like when we open the door, have things been resolved? I think we can feel really guilty when we spend a lot of time alone because it can feel like you're alienating other people or maybe you're alienating yourself. Or maybe you just feel bad because you don't want to do things the way that other people want to do things. Sometimes it can feel really bad, especially when it feels like we don't have anyone there for us or when it feels like you didn't choose to be alone but you've sort of been forced into this position. Being alone in your room is where you come up with the most amazing ideas and where you figure out a lot of things about yourself that maybe you wouldn't have figured out otherwise had you not given yourself the space to do that. Imagine not having a space to do that, not having a place of your own where you can collect yourself and where you can really just let it out. There's always going to be someone outside. Just beyond your doors, there is another person. The mood in your room can change so drastically depending on how you're feeling and depending on what you're dealing with within that space. Your room sees every aspect of emotion that you display. It's seen you feel your best and your worst. But overall, isolation is key. You need to be alone in order to do certain things. Savor your alone time, but also know it might feel good to go outside. <laughs> All right, until next time, bye.